I was always deeply moved by the life of Anne Frank. The joyful life, the fun-loving spirit, the reaching out to people through her diary. I always felt close to her. I felt her near me in my life. I felt I needed to make a series of works a kind of Stations of the Cross, really, a series of etchings. A series related to her being in the attic. Her journey, really. I needed to work on copper plate. I needed to scratch into the surfaces to etch into the plate. Yeah, I wanted to choose this me this medium of etching so that this scratching in it's um it's something that would reach really reaches deeply, deeply into the depths of her journey, the darker depths. something that's not so easily reached just by drawing. I really needed to etch the plates to feel, touch something of this suffering, something of her journey. Anne Frank and her family walking along the canal in Amsterdam where they're going into the secret hiding place to the secret annex. I have to do the drawing backwards and then transfer it onto the plate. Up in the dark attic, Anne writes a diary. A little bit of light just coming through the window. And these marks are really deeply scratched into the surface. They bite through the, the black and light is appearing with Anne in the attic. This being hidden away. The plate is immersed in the acid and it bites in. This darkness of and on the train arriving in Auschwitz. Something of this suffering and troubled times that she went through. Something ironic, really, even in the washing of the plate, it's they were gassed, uh, the people in the camps. There's this connection always between the light and the dark, the heat, the flames, even, seem to relate to Auschwitz. Anna and her sister being in the camp together and close to each other to the very end, companions. There's this darkness and something of Anne's light somehow living on. The family, their last meal just before being taken away, 
come together such a happy people really the Jewish community and plates heated so that the colours can move easy. I can find in the work the colours and it links somehow this colours and joy with them also being happy people. They loved being together as like a big family they love playing music together and here taken away into the ghettos there was some part of them that could be together So they were taken away, the family taken away like many, many thousands of others and taken to the camps, taken on the trains, these old cattle carts. pushed together, cramped together in the most appalling conditions. How could this be? It's unthinkable. It's almost a vision I had of her being free and the world could hear her voice through her writing. Somehow we're united in her, the memory of her words, a living memory. And yet, there's this wonderful feeling of Anne wanting to live on in a summer dress even. I wanted her to come out from behind the attic, open the door of the attic, come out. It's almost a vision I had of her being free. And as she said, I want to go on living even after my death. This joy for life, her wonderful soaring spirit that touches our hearts. Mm -hmm. 